हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द हेडिंग दैट टुडेज टॉपिक इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन न्यूट्रल वेयर एंड अर्थवेयर नाउ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम माय अदर वीडियोस बिकॉज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई नेवर यूज्ड एनी ऑब्जेक्ट टू शो यू only i used this paper and this pen to draw the circuit and to explain you but in this video i am going to show some socket and some plugs to explain the difference between neutral wire and earth wire and how these are connected okay so let's start see this is a 6 ampere socket okay this is a 6 ampere socket this is the earth terminal this is earth terminal this is line terminal this to a line and this is neutral so if you check the back side you will understand it clearly let me focus the socket only see in this terminal this is written as l l mean line and this is written as n that is neutral and this is symboled as earth a symbol of earth is given that is for earth connection and you can see it it is a 6 ampere 240 volt socket okay for ac use only so this is line that means your this terminal is line terminal and this is neutral terminal and this is earth terminal okay so this is the socket and let me show you a pin three pin plug see this is a three pin plug this is the earth pin this is neutral pin and this is line pin in the socket the right hand pin is the line pin so in the pin plug the left hand pin is the line pin so whenever it it will be connected like this the line will connected to the line point okay so all our line terminal will be connected at this point the l point and neutral will be connected in this point and this will be earth so let us explain the circuit diagram okay so this is the physical thing now i am explaining the circuit diagrams so before to know knowing the know the circuit we have to know how electrical power reaches to our household from the substation in the substation there is a transformer there are many transformers suppose this transformer is dedicated for your household area okay this is delta connected and this is star connected now from this star this three phase r y and b is connected to a switch gear bus bar this is a switchboard bus bar okay my lines are not aligned and this neutral is also taken here and it is connected to another neutral bus bar okay so this is r y b and this is n now this neutral is earth that substation end suppose this is the substation ground hmm. this is the physical ground hmm. physical ground level this is fgl say below fgl ground conductors are laid this is ground conductors are laid these are ground conductors these are electrodes and this neutral is connected to the ground conductor below earth so from here the arcing conductor is generated now in the switch gear there is another bus called earth bus this earth bus is connected to the substation ground mat okay so what we are seeing that from a transformer in the substation switch gear this is a substation switch board there is three phase one neutral and one earth remember this neutral is only taken in the 415 volt system to draw the single phase supply the line to line voltage is 415 volt 
V line to line is 415 volt. So when we are drawing V single phase, then we will take the line and the neutral that is phase voltage means 415 by root 3 that is around 240 volt. Okay. But for the other vo voltage level like 11 kV or 6.6 .6 kV, the neutral is there, neutral is earth, but it is not used. I mean for 11 kV or 6.6 .6 kV or higher high voltage system, there is no use of phase voltage. There the line to line three phase voltage are used, but in single phase in 415 volt system, the single phase loads are used for 230 volt, which is taken from one line and one neutral. So this is your substation end. Okay. This is the substation end. This is substation end. Now from here, the lines are taken to your roadside switchboards. You must have seen these are your roadside switchboard. R, Y, B, N and this is earth bus. So R is connected here, Y is connected here, B is here, neutral is here and this is R. So R, Y, B, N and this is earth. Now this switchboard is located at roadside this is for your area roadside this is for a certain area now from this area suppose you are receiving three lines that is one R one neutral and one earth these three lines are given to your house premises okay so this is how the power reaches from household to reaches to household from the substation. See, this phase is connect through this several distribution. It is coming to your house. So if you simplify this circuit, what you receive is, I am just drawing the transformer secondary, not the transformer primary. If this is your transformer secondary star connected, this is earth. This is the ground level. This is earthing conductor. So you are receiving one phase and one neutral and another earth phase from the ground conductor in the substation. Okay. This is line, this is neutral and this is earth. You are getting these three terminals at your home. Now let us see how these are used and how these are circuited. Now let me explain how a single phase load is connected to the source for a safe operation. Suppose this is my transformer secondary. Okay. This is my transformer secondary. I have got this as line. From here I have got the line supply. And from this point I have got the neutral supply. I have got the neutral supply. So I have the line here, I have the line here and neutral here, okay. Now the neutral is earth to the substation, this is conductor, earthing conductor. So from here I am getting another earth terminal. Now suppose this is my load, this is one of my load and this is the enclosure, okay. So this is single phase load. So if I connect this line to this end and this neutral to this end, the load will operate. The circuit will be completed and the load will operate. Current will flow like through this path. Okay. Now there is a accidental possibility that if somehow the insulation between this winding and the enclosure damages hmm, or the conductor breaks and touch this enclosure and a man touches this then what will happen the current will flow through the line conductor then through this conductor and the broken insulation part it will the man's feet is on ground so it will return through the man's body to the earth point okay so the human will face shock huge shock if there is any insulation puncture or conductor puncture to prevent this what is happened what is practiced 
that this enclosure is connected separately to the earth terminal. Now if there is any leakage or any insulation breakdown then what will happen the current will come here through this path it will go to the enclosure and it will return to the earth by this earth wear not through the human body because this will have less resistance the conductor will always have less resistance than human body so the current will flow through this conductor only and not through the human body so that will achieve the safety so here is the basic difference between the neutral and the earth wear the neutral is kept to complete the electrical circuit see this neutral is completing the electrical circuit but this earthware is actually making the equipment safe against any shock hazard so for single phase supply both are equally important now let us see the socket i have shown how this is connected okay so this is the transformer this is the transformer and this is earth to the earthing conductor this is earthing conductor i am writing as ec okay now from here one line supply is reached to our house one neutral supply is reached to our house and one earth supply is reached to our house these three are available to our household okay now we have a three pin socket as you have seen so this is my earth pin this is neutral pin and this is line pin so this is earth this is line and this is neutral okay now what will be the connections let me show you the connections so this earth will be connected to this terminal okay the line will be connected to this terminal and the neutral will be connected to this terminal okay so if if you see this diagram the line will be connected here the neutral will be connected here and the earth will be connected here now let us come to the equipment drawing and design of this socket you have seen the socket but how this is wired okay this is line neutral and earth and this is a thick cable so how the wiring is done let me explain to you see this is the equipment hmm. this is the equipment and this is the internal circuit so if you have a socket like this if you have a plug like this this is your plug this is the earth pin okay this is the earth pin this is line pin and this is neutral pin so the earth pin where will be connected bolted to the body the line pin where will be connected to one terminal and the neutral pin where will be connected to the other terminal okay so now if you plug this thing in sorry i have just make the reverse connection the line will be connected here and the neutral will be connected here that 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 won't be an issue if you connect it uh, just let me rectify it i am drawing again so if this is my socket this is the earth pin this is line pin this is line pin and this is neutral pin okay so and if this is the equipment with circuit then the line pin will be connected here neutral pin will be connected like this and the earth pin will be connected to the body only okay now if you plug these things here so the body will be connected to the substation earthing the line will be connected to the line and the neutral will be connected to the neutral here there is a switch is applied here there is a switch is applied in the switchboard 
so by pressing on or off you can control the supply okay so in this method the circuit of a socket is done now let me show you some now let me show you some typical features of this socket see if you come to the uh, socket uh, socket hmm, uh, sorry if you come to the pin then what we will see that the earthing pin is thicker and longer than the other two pins that is because thick earthing pin causes lower resistance and since it is longer it first inserted to the socket see if you plug it in then the earthing pin will be inserted first then the line and neutral will be inserted that means whenever you are plugging this uh, equipment to the switchboard the equipment body will be earth first then the power supply will be available to it so in case there is any stored charge or anything any there is any possibility of voltage or charge that will be earth first then there will be the provision of supply so this is how the circuit is designed and planned okay now i hope that the difference between the uh, line and neutral have been clear to you so if you enjoyed this video please like share with your friend comment and subscribe to our channel also please hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications and if you want any specific video on any topic please comment and if you want to make me some improvement you can also suggest that okay thank you